Good morning to you. Are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to the person standing behind you. Yes, I'm talking to you, silly. What do you want? What do you baby? want, Boomer? He never, he never wants this, but he, he wants the attention that Freckles gets. Yes, he does this every morning, guys. He does not eat. So here, I give him that. Oh, he's walking away. He's coming back. He's on that side of you. See? No. He won't eat it. But yet he wants to be treated like this. No, I actually, you know, had cat treats and would give him cat treats. The dog has. This is what I usually put his uh, pills in, and I. I continue to do this when we, because we're going to have to get his pills again. But uh, he just wants the attention and he's really jealous that Freckles gets this kind of attention. Okay, so good morning everybody, first of all. I am trying to cut back a little bit on what I'm eating and I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier. So instead of having bacon and eggs every morning, I got these bagel thins, and one bagel is 110 calories, so I'm going to have a bagel, and I'm going to have a slice of ham, cooked ham on it, which is one slice is 50 calories, and I'm going to only have one egg on it, and one egg is 80 calories. So what is that? 80, 50, and 110. So my whole breakfast is going to only be 240 calories. So I think that's going to be a lot less than two eggs and six slices of bacon. Wow. So. I'm having coffee. And, and you got your Rice Krispie treats. Rice Krispie treats. And I got cookies too. Oh, and you got cookies. Yeah. Breakfast of champions. So here is my... Bagel thin with a piece of ham and one egg. It's it's an egg McNeighbor. It's an egg McNeighbor. That's a good name for it. Where's your Rice Krispie treat? I'm waiting for my coffee. To oh, you gotta have it with your coffee. Of course. I just wanted to point out to everybody that this is still my living room. Look at my <coughs> bar. Look at my floor in front of my TV. Boomer has now attacked that box completely. <laughs> Made a big hole in the side. So, yeah. My living room is still eBay Central. Yay! Which makes me not want to be in here. And Job Search Central. A lot of papers up there is for... Job Search Central, eBay Central, Mess Central. Makes me not want to be in here. Why? It's a nice cozy room. It's cold. You see bones? How cold he is? Oh, it feels good in here. Is how cold I am? It's cold. Maybe you should take it all out into the garage and work and put the space heater on in the garage. Well, maybe I will. Kevin's having an extra good breakfast this morning. Show us what you're having. Rice crispy treats. And cookies. Coffee. Such a healthy breakfast. That's why I'm such a healthy guy. <laughs> And we got the cats running around <coughs> playing cat tag. Here it goes. Boomer. Ah! <laughs> so, what are you doing, baby? Laundry. Okay, hold on. This gets hung up. This is yours so it can get folded. <laughs> Well, Kevin is going to tackle, that's a nightshirt, so that can get folded. 
while Kevin is going to tackle the laundry. I'm going to start making some dinner. How's that? Ruby, ma'am. So pretty much any shirt of mine you come across, lay it across the table like that. Okay? Yes, dear. <laughs> Except pajamas. Those can be folded. Because I don't care if they get wrinkled. Okay? Yes, dear. Love you. Love you, too. Make dinner. Yes, dear. <laughs> See how I turn that around? Yes, dear. Hey, guys! I'm going to make some dinner tonight, but before I start that, I want to update you guys on my what I ate today. Because I'm trying to cut back and eat a little healthier. And at, after breakfast this morning, I was at 360 calories. And then I had a can of soup that was 300 calories. So that leaves me at 660 calories. And I had a couple of slices of a baguette with some butter on it. So I'm going to say that's probably, I'm probably at about 800 calories today. So for dinner tonight, I am making chicken tenderloins. I'm going to grill, uh, fry them up a little bit in some olive oil, and then I'm going to add some ready-cut tomatoes, diced tomatoes with roasted garlic on top of those. I'm going to add some onions to it. I'm going to make whole grain Spanish rice, and I'm going to make my famous asparagus in the bag with olive oil and garlic and onion and I'm going to bake that in the oven. So some of you may not know how I cook my asparagus. What I do is I chop off the ends and I put it into a Ziploc bag. I pour a generous amount of olive oil into it and you can season it with anything you really want. I seasoned ours with onion powder and garlic powder because we all love onions and garlic and then I used my mortar and pestle and I crushed up some almonds and I added almonds into it. So then you shake it all up so it gets all nice and covered. And then you pour it onto a baking sheet. As so. And you spread it out. You try and get it as a thin of a layer as possible so that they're not on top of each other as much as possible. And that's what you're baking sheet will look like and then you bake it I usually bake it on about 350 and I don't usually time it I just keep checking on so it. So guys Kevin is in the living room now folding his laundry <laughs> so I got the chicken going and all I did is I put some olive oil so I put the chicken in the pan I'm gonna cook up just the rest of the chicken that was in that bag because Cooking just a little wouldn't have been enough. Cooking all of it is going to give us leftovers, so we'll have leftovers. So I'm going to cover that and let that cook up for a little bit before I add the tomatoes diced with roasted garlic over top of that. And I'm still waiting for my oven to hit temperature to put my asparagus in the oven. And I'm going to get ready to start preparing the rice right now. Okay, so I just turned the chicken over, and it's looking pretty darn good. So I'm going to dump my tomatoes in there. Looks pretty good. And then I'm going to cover them up again. And it looks like we got about 10 minutes or so left on the rice. So now I'm going to put my asparagus in the oven. I'm going to put it on the lower shelf so it cooks a little faster. And so now we're just waiting on the rice, the chicken, and the asparagus, which is in the oven. So guys, dinner is ready. However, we are going to trash the rice. Didn't turn out right. And... When we looked at the box, it expired in 2008. Eight. So, we're trashing the rice. I didn't look at it. 
Didn't realize it was in there that long. So the rice is a no-go. But the chicken looks yummy, doesn't it? Uh -huh. And the asparagus looks yummy. Yep. I have no idea where our tongs are, so... Um, tongs for the memories. They're not in here. They looked in here? No, I didn't look in there. Of course you didn't look, because that's where they are. That's not where they're supposed to be! Oh, wow. Ah. <laughs> you should label them, then, if... Do if they I have a special have, place. All right, then you need to buy me a label maker <laughs> so I can label everything. So when you, Megan or Brian, put anything away that you guys know where it goes. Oh. And I will okay. label my puzzles on piece number one goes inside piece number two, inside piece number three. Yes. Just waiting to see how you like everything. I like it. What'd you taste so far? Just the chicken? Yep. I wonder how you like the asparagus. Good. Yummy? Yummy. Yay! Another good dinner cooked by me. Guess I'll keep you. You have no choice. <laughs> That was disgusting to do on camera. You got to do that in private. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's time for neighborhood community shout out. Uh, oh, the neighborhood zoo has 146 uh, subs. And they, our paranormal channel, PIN, has 122 subs. So, thank you guys for, for going over and subbing to those channels. We still want to get them way up there, but that's a start. So, thank you guys. Um, we need some prayers and thoughts, guys. Um, Mom's vlog is 80. Elijah starts his chemo tomorrow, which is Monday, which is today when you see this and um, everybody please send lots of thoughts and prayers with Melody and Elijah while he's getting his chemo at uh, Children's Hospital in Stanford and uh, just keep him in your thoughts and prayers we're there with you Melody and you need to do this one uh, oh Angela Sh Shrum is Teen Cannon. Take it up! Welcome to the neighborhood. Aaron Menzel. Welcome to the neighborhood. Bubba the Love Sponge. Hope you're doing better today. Wanted to make sure we gave you a shout out and tell you to smile. Beauty Girl 18. Welcome to the neighborhood. Robin Huntley, welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> and the harder I hit you, uh -huh. just means the more I love you. Oh, is that That's right? what she said. Oh. And we want to also do a shout out to Robin Huntley and her little man Dalton. Shout oh, out to oh, you. Oh. Amber Rice. A lot of people are telling me I should start a cooking channel. Mm -hmm. Kevin and I have been discussing it, and we're not sure if we're going to do a whole ch separate channel or if we're going to devote one day to me cooking a week. Um, so we're still thinking about it. We'll get back to you. I think it all depends on our internet speed at this point. Because yeah, because we're running three channels, and it's hard to keep three channels going if we start a whole nother channel might be pretty difficult but we're not making any promises on anything yet we'll keep you all updated but welcome to the neighborhood adam dawkins we welcomed you to the neighborhood yesterday but we forgot to say shout out to you 
so here it is. <laughs> Shout out to you. <laughs> Portland Creek Diaries completely understands um, my Tupperware puzzle cabinet. I want to see your Tupperware cabinet. She see showed that. you her food cabinet. I know. All right. Portland Creek Diaries, he wants to see your food cabinet. I mean, your Tupperware cabinet. Because our cabinet, despite everything she says, says you try to pull one out, they all come out. No. <laughs> no. Yes, you have to pull it out so you can take the one you want out, and then you put Old it back cabinet in. Comes no, it does not. It does not. It does not. Plastic everywhere. Does not. No. That's it. No. No. Well, no. Okay. Um. Okay. Someone out there a while ago had asked me to go over my tattoos, and someone mentioned my tattoo on my back the other night. I'd like to do that, but. I don't want to just go over my tattoos and Kevin's tattoos. I would like my, our subscribers to send us pictures of your tattoos with the meanings to you as well and make it a whole vlog instead of just mine and Kevin's. So please send us pictures of your tattoos and their meanings either to our Facebook fan page, our Twitter, or the neighbors kvm at yahoo.com so we can get a vlog put together of all of that. Okay. Thanks, guys. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Are you going to fix Iris? <laughs> yes, I will fix my typo. Thank you very much. It was a typo. You know, that's what we get for doing this at 1 o'clock in the morning, guys. Yeah, I redo that every day, so maybe a mistake here. Really? Last night it was oh, an interesting. I, night. I misspelled neighborhood on one of the uh, the, uh, the outro parts. Oh, and nobody nobody seems to have noticed. And that. you didn't put a neighborhood community production on the, one of the um, animal blogs either. Not for yet. You know, it's one, two o'clock in the morning. It's kind of hard to remember to do everything. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here if it weren't for you all. We love you all so very, very much. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thumbs up, and we will see you all tomorrow. And please don't forget, go check out the Neighborhood Zoo and Paranormal Activity with the Neighbors, P.I.N. See you all tomorrow.